what it do youtube hard body j timo man back with another video man hey before i start this video make sure you like my video subscribe to my channel man hit the bell notification i mean hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications you know what i'm saying and don't forget also leave me a comment man so what happened right what's what happened in classic physique you know what i'm saying as we all know by now you know what i'm saying unless you up under a rock chris repeated two-time mr o and terrence ruffin bumped all the way up from i think his last placing was seventh all the way to second man which put Breon at third uh, a lot of people have been speculating on as to why like why do why do they think Breon actually um you know what gave Terrence the edge over Breon and you know there's a, I'm gonna go over a lot of you know speculatory I'm gonna go over everything you feel me so for one you know what I mean Chris he came in sharp once again second year in a row he made some gains especially in his back I noticed that you know he brought his back up you know what I mean significantly you know he slightly brought his biceps up but you know what I mean he's still he came in great condition great shape he was full he was hard can't take nothing from him you know what I'm saying once again hey Breon he brought a great package also you know what I'm saying as he usually does he always brings a good package Terrence Terrence took the year off he didn't do the Olympia last year I don't think nah he didn't do the Olympia last year and he came back with vengeance. He came back hungry. Uh, a lot of people was talking about that. This situation right here that y'all see. This right here uh, might have bumped, uh, have, might have bumped Breon down to third place. I don't think that that's a factor. It should not be a factor. Why? Because it happens. It happens. Anybody that competes knows that that happens you know what i'm saying it happens to me i've done it to people you know i've initiated it others have initiated it with me it happens it's all a part of competition um maybe just maybe oh there's this thing of well you know a lot of a lot you hear a lot of youtubers that say this too a lot of youtubers that don't compete on top of that say that they're trying to go in a different direction with classic i highly disagree with that um why i disagree with that because there are guys that that have the same attributes as chris but none of those guys are in the top five i mean top six that's six on stage right top five no nah, that's six that's the top six right there and chris is the only one that that shaped like chris so that that kills that rhetoric right there Breon is still very much classic you know everybody trying to say that he should go to 212 i don't agree with that i still feel like he he fits classic and if Breon is supposed to they want Breon to go to 212 i mean look at terrence terrence is just as big you know or just as stocky as uh uh um as Breon. So I don't agree with that rhetoric. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, they're going in a different direction than with classic physique and so on and so forth. Man, stop it. Especially if you don't compete, just stop it. Just stop it. You know what I mean? It's, it's one thing to be a fan of the sport, but then there's another thing where you put pressing around a rhetoric and you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I think it's a lot of it has to do with to do with how Breon presented his physique. He changed a lot of his poses. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Let me pause this here. Breon changed a lot of his poses. You know what I mean? Now, Breon's front double bicep was a very strong pose. This is what he brought to the stage. You know what I'm saying? Still a very good pose. Still a very good pose. Here go another another angle. It's still a very good pose. But in my opinion, how he did his front double bicep before was a lot better. 
it was a lot better. It was like it, it's it, it was a lot more classic. Let me find a picture. Okay, here we go. Oh, better yet, a video. So this is that's how he used how he used to present his front door bicep. You see how it's just every it's just unique to Breon. And then if he wanted to, he could have added a vacuum, like what he does here. Let me go see if I find a picture of how he, uh, yeah, boom. Pick up a picture. Let's see. Front double bicep. You see how clean it looks. You see how clean as opposed to how he presented it right now. This. I, I, you know, I like the other way better. The other way was a lot better. And, uh, you know, it just look, it just seems to me that Breon was so busy trying to match Chris in the poses is that he lost his unique, his uniqueness. You know what I mean? He should have kept his, he should have kept his uniqueness. When Breon got on stage, you know, he presented his physique the way he needed to present his physique. And it just seems as if he was, you know, he he lost sight of himself while trying to match um, Chris, and then it it left the door open for um, Terrence. You know what I'm saying? Which is dangerous. Left the door open for Terrence which is, is quite dangerous because uh, Terrence is a, a very dangerous person, especially now to, um, you know, you can't, you can't slip, especially with a guy that, that, that works and works and works and works and works on his craft. This is why I tell people, man, I, I cannot stress this enough is if you don't practice posing, a guy like this will catch you slipping because he's practicing on a daily basis. This is a daily basis. This is just not a um, a 12 week prep, five weeks out and I'm practicing pose and stuff like that. This is somebody that is perfecting their craft. He's perfecting his craft the entire, all the way a year round. You know what I'm saying? And that's dangerous. Somebody that is actually just in the lab, working on presentation, after presentation, after presentation. Dangerous, look at that. Look at that. Look at how he presents that. That's It's just sharp. He's sharp. He's sharp. So yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, we never know though. You never know what what really what really is the real reason as to why, you know, because at, you know as you look at the physiques themselves, like everybody's sharp, and you know I come from a place of where you have to knock out the champion, and I don't think anybody brought it enough to knock out Chris. You know what I'm saying? Chris came with it and nobody knocked him out. Like you got to knock out the champion in order to dethrone the champion in my opinion. And that's just what it is. And nobody actually did that. But yeah though, man, um, that's pretty much it. That's my video, man. Those are my speculations, you know what I'm saying? Um, just like everybody else, I put my opinion out there. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but practice that posing, man. Practice your pose and practice presenting your physique on a regular, not just in the in season in the off season too, man. But yeah, though, man, I'm hard body J Timo, man. Once again, like my video, comment on my video, share my video. Also, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at hard body J Timo at hard body J Timo. You know what I'm saying? The links will all be in the description, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hard body.
I'm on me like a soldier. Know the devil stays skinny, standing firm in the power of Jehovah. Hard body, strong body. That's one body, different members. We all want to Christ across this color blind. You better change your perspective.